Hey guys, welcome to Men's Grooming Advice. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe for new videos every single week. So today guys, it's going to be a really quick video, no in-depth um, reviews, but what I wanted to talk to you about is some of my absolute faves skincare for May. So kicking it straight off is the Pixi Glow Tonic, which um, I've just recently put up a full review of. I'm very surprised with this. It's it's really lovely glycolic acid to use. It's a lovely lovely mixture. It's very it doesn't sting at all. It's I feel it's better than the ordinary, although it is roughly three times the price. Um, it's very nice to go on. It has a lovely smooth feeling as you put it on. Not an awful lot there, but you really don't need very much. It's ten pounds. I've been really enjoying it. Let me know if you've tried it. Talking about something that's ridiculously cheap, we talk about the Inky List. Now, I love the Inky List. I haven't tried all their products, far from it. Um, the one I want to try next is the Vitamin C with the EGF, which is supposed to be really, really good. I like their Hyaluronic Acid Serum as well. I love their Retinol. Um, that's worked really well for me. But this is the Q10. Now, Q10 is antioxidant. This is one of those things that I didn't buy intentionally. Um, well, I say I didn't buy it intentionally. I didn't, you know, I didn't nick it or anything. What I meant was that I just, it was an impulse buy. Q10, I've never used anything that's particularly with Q10 on it. So I thought I'd give it a try because it's, you know, it's less than a tenner. It's worth giving it a try. I've been really surprised with this. I've been using this in the mornings uh, um, after all my serums, but before my final moisturizer and sunscreen. It's got a beautiful creamy texture when it goes on. It definitely makes your skin feel just that little bit softer, slightly plumper. Definitely worth the try guys. I've been really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying using this. I don't know if there's any other Q10 products out there that are comparable for me to try uh, and see if they're better or worse than this, but if I don't find one, uh, I expect to be buying this again and using it again. I've been very impressed with it. As far as moisturizers are concerned, uh, I have got some pushback from a few uh, people via Instagram that I tend to go for very expensive moisturizers, not the, the mega, mega expensive ones, but I tend to go with a lot of the Korean moisturizers because I'm a big fan of Korean skincare. Uh, so what I wanted to do for this month, I want to try something which is a bit more budget friendly, a bit more drugstore, and that I've gone for the CeraVe V. Now this is the facial moisturizing lotion. It's their AM, so it's SPS 55. I will be doing a full review of this uh, in a separate video. Uh, I love the fact it comes with a pump dispenser on the top. It's nice and easy to get the, the amount you need. I find two pumps is enough for face and neck. When I first started using this, I didn't like the, the it, it came across with a very bright white texture. Um, and it looked like a, a really cheap and nasty sort of, of sort of product, but when you put it on your face, it really absorbs really quickly. I was I was seriously impressed how quickly this this actually sunk in. It's got an SPS 25. I treat that as a, a nice little extra, but absolutely do not rely on an SPF in your moisturizer to be your sunscreen. You have to have sunscreen as well. So I follow this with my usual sunscreen, which at the moment is the Cosrx. Um, I'm looking to try some more as, as we're going into summer, but this, this is the first product I've tried from CeraVe. I've heard a lot of things about it. it it's kind of it's kind of medicinal rather than sort of spa luxury treatment, but I have been loving this this month. I'll carry on with it using it the rest of this month, and I'll definitely try some more of their products. In fact, I have bought um, some of their foaming cleansers to try, but I haven't tried those yet. Those are still stuck in my big to use box. Uh, yes, been very impressed with this one. Now with shaving, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, uh, now I've got this little bit of a beard I'm cultivating so I'm not using the thick creams I used to, I'm using a gel. And the one I've found, I've never heard of it before, again this is one of those impulse buys, I saw it on Amazon, I thought I'd give it a go, is the Etch Tapper Shape Up Shave Gel. Now again, I've got a full review of this coming soon, but this is this is gorgeous. This is um, it's it is a gel like you'd expect. Um, it contains aloe vera, witch hazel, peppermint oil, and vitamin E. It it's got a beautiful glide to it. Uh, it's got a very slight orangey look to it when you put it in your hands, but when you put it across your face, it, it goes it's invisible, so you can see exactly where you're trimming. The peppermint smell is 
gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. Got a blast of a, of a peppermint smell. And this I've been using as well uh, for body shaving because I um, I shave my chest hairs because my wife prefers the smooth chest. Uh, and this is perfect for that. In fact, she's also been stealing it for doing her legs, which is why it's probably half full now. And I'll, but I will definitely buy this one again. So this is the Etch Taper Shape Up Shave Gel. Full review coming. But in the meantime, if you're looking for a shave gel for touching up, um, or if you don't particularly like the creams, or particularly if you want to do some body um, shaving, legs, manscaping, whatever, this is definitely recommended. Uh, for all of these products, by the way, none of them sponsored. I bought them all with my own money, but I'll be, leave links in the comments section, in the um, description below, where possible. Um, now, talking about this beardy bit, I've been using something I've never had to use before, which is a, a, a beard balm. So I've gone for the Hawkins and Brimble um, LMI and Ginseng beard balm. So doesn't have a particularly strong smell, I have to say, but it's um, yeah, it's got sort of a Vaseline-y, waxy sort of consistency to it. But a couple of dabs of that, just working it in the beard. Now, obviously, I haven't got a large beard, so I don't have to shape it at all or sh shape the old moustache. But I've found that applying a little bit of this in the morning, um, just after everything else, um, after I've had with my sunscreen, etc., it just helps. It stops the itchiness of the beard. I mean, I don't have beard dandruff or any problems like that, but I've found that because I'm probably not used to having a beard, I've had all these years without having a beard, I've found I'm a little bit itchy. I just kind of find myself doing this quite a lot. That's helped that out. It's sort of reduced that itchiness. Uh, I can't say it's made the, the, the beard hair any smoother. That's not its job, but it's definitely, um, definitely something that for, I think it was about six pounds, I think, something like that on Amazon. Uh, if you've got a beard, uh, particularly if you've got a longer beard than I have, or moustache that you want to uh, tame, Hawkins and Brimble, it's very nice. First time I've ever used one of those. Again with the shaving, um, Perozo is uh, an Italian brand that I've used a lot of over the years. I've used their shave creams, I've used their pre-shave um, cream, I've used their aftershave balm, uh, etc. So I'm going to be doing a, a complete new video for all the Perozo range. But this is a uh, Again, I'm, t I'm terrible for going on Amazon. Are you, are you terrible for going on Amazon? You're going for one thing and you end up clicking, clicking, and by the end of it, you've got 10 things in your basket. Maybe that's just me. But I bought this, which is the Perozo Mint and Rosemary Post Shave Powder. Now, I won't try and tip any of this out to show you what it is because it's incredibly fine, as in, like, just you probably got to pick that on the camera, but even just tapping that, you get a fine mist. So, um, very difficult to use when you use it out of the packet because you tip it into your hand and it tends to go everywhere. So, um, what I did was I bought myself one of these barbershop puffers. So, um, it's, they're very, I mean, this was, I think this is about six pounds or like that. Um, you can get them even cheaper, but again, this is on Amazon. Um, filled it up and then what I do is puff, puff, and then gently tap it in. Um, it's a talc basically, it's a, it's, a, it's, a medi it's a slightly medicated but scented talc which gives you perfect dryness uh, and it's been amazing on um, the skin. The ice, I tend to suffer and, and you guys have probably noticed it as well that I do tend to get quite rashy here. It's, I've always had it. It doesn't matter whether I'm using a DE uh, safety razor, whether I'm using multi-blades, um, doesn't matter whether I use a lawnmower. mower, it's always, I always get the blotchiness. I've used the 10 skin, I've used, I've tried 20 plus easily different post-shave things. I always get this little bit of rash. I think it's just gonna be me. Um, but I have found that with this uh, Perozo, that has actually helped to tame it a little bit. Um, it smells very nice. As I say, what I would recommend is if you're going to give it a go, get yourself one of these puffers as well. This isn't exactly a skin, well, not exactly a skincare thing, but another thing I've been loving as well, and I mention it now, full review I'm filming later on today, is for a beard shaver, a beard trimmer, because obviously I've got a beard now. So this funky looking thing is the Remington, um, uh, which is, is really quite something where you've got the different sizes. It's got an awful lot of range, so I'm looking forward to butchering myself with that later. I will film myself. Um, I'm also going to be filming myself trying to cut my own hair, um, which could be a disaster in the making, so um, look forward to that. Uh, and that's it, that's my May favourites. Some of these, as I say, I'm going to be reviewing soon, separately. Um, what have you been trying this May? Let me know. CeraVe, again, say I've never used them before, been very impressed with that. If there's any CeraVe stuff that you've tried before, let me know in the comment section below. But that's my favourites so far of this month, May. 
I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram. Hit that like button, it's always appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe as I say for new videos every single week. I've been Bear Clark, you've been amazing, and I'll see you again real soon.